right guys, we are down shooting, beautiful day, down at the frickin' bench, shooting 100 yards like always. We are getting through uh, the few reloads that I uh, made up, shooting 308. We have the third powder test to shoot, and the uh, seating depth test on the uh, 39.9, uh, 39 point something. Was it 39.9, 39.2? Let me check here. 39.2 grains was our best group. It was uh, .336, I think. Uh, .336 MOA. And, yeah, under half inch. I, that, that's beautiful. I love it. So we did a seating depth test at that, at that one. Obviously, it was a good group. So might as well tinker with that a little bit. Um, but I loaded a third powder test, going from 39.8 all the way up to 41.0, and two fowlers. Uh, the two fowlers, I'm gonna for this round. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna do a five shot group on one of my metal plates with the gold metal match. I want to see how gold metal match, you know, does through this gun. So I'm going to do that. That's going to be our Fowlers. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get both shot today or not, but uh, the first one we'll shoot is the seating test. Uh, we'll do that first, and then after that, we'll go from there. All right, guys, let me get the... Uh, let me get the uh, target tongue here and we'll get this show on the road. All right guys, uh, we're all set up. Uh, I lied to you. So I have, we will shoot a five shot group of gold medal match, but for the seating test, I have two Lake City uh, pieces of brass that I rotated in with uh, on my alpha that way like I was saying to you guys in the reloading room we'll always have two fouling or warming rounds that way all 25 shots uh, there's no cold bore shot especially this time of year because it's nice and cold in this barrel I'll be able to shoot all 25 shots without it even you know barely getting warm so uh, during the summer obviously I gotta you know, let it cool down midway through, and there's gonna be a, you know, a, a warming shot or cold bore shot. Unless next summer I I might uh, take out a couple, maybe uh, four rounds. I'll do two the beginning and then two halfway through to warm up the barrel, or the halfway point. But either way, we'll, we'll worry about that later. Um, so we're all set. Everything's hung down there. Uh, this is going to be the seating depth test first, um, and we'll see if we get to the, uh, if we shoot all of them today, uh, the seating depth test and the um, powder test. If not, we'll shoot the powder test tomorrow. But I do want to get a five shot group of that gold medal match out of this rifle to see how it, see how it runs. So the first shots are fouling rounds. They're going to be two Lake City. Uh, I think I, I think I reloaded them at the same twenty. Uh, sorry, thirty-nine point two. So yeah, we're going to go from twenty-five off the lands to fifteen off the lands. Remember, I always get people in the comments asking why I skipped twenty. The powder charge is done at twenty thousandths off the lands. So just to save on ammo and components and all that. I don't reload 20 off 20 thousands off the lands because that's what it was shot at. So if you want to know what 20 thousands off the lands shot, go to the powder test and that's that's your answer. Uh, it was a 0 .3, 0 .336 inch group. So we're going from 25 thousands off the lands to 15 thousands to 10 thousands to 5 thousands to touching. Um, Eventually, I want to test some bullets um, jamming into the lands, but I just, I haven't done it yet, and um, eventually I will. I just, I got to get get around to it. 
Um, and then two fouling rounds are two pieces of Lake City brass that's, oh see I thought I put a Remington primer in to save on the bench rest, but apparently, oh, one does have a Remington and one has the, <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but either way, so let's get two fowlers down first. Okay, that's the one with the Remington primer. <laughs> I should have left that in the chamber a little bit longer than what I did. That was a fuck up. That's powder in it. Just double checking, even though I've already triple checked. Twenty-four sixty is that one. I'm gonna throw this one back in just to see if it will fire. So those Remington primers I have are really old. So not, don't think, you know, uh, I've showed you guys them before. Uh, they're extremely old. They're back with the old. Uh, uh, clean clean bore packaging it's called and like uh, I'll show you guys them again if you want but let's see if this one which this is actually the first one I've had not go off let's try it one more time This is what I should have done. The reason why I took the bullet out that quickly is because I thought something was wrong with the firing pin. So that's that was my that was my mess up. You always want to leave when you have a faulty fire like that. You always want to leave the bullet in a decent amount of time because I've actually never seen a primer delayed that long usually it's either a hang fire or doesn't go off at all but say it doesn't fire and you would inject it right out into your hand and it, and it decides to go then it's enough you know it's going to be enough pressure to get you hurt all right only one only one warming shot will go right to uh the Garmin has an update. Let me get that updated. All right, I'm gonna let that update, and uh, we'll be back and, and start off with the groups. All right, guys, it's all uh, updated, good to go. Let's get uh, the group started here. So, 25 thousandths off the land is gonna be top, top, uh, the furthest top left dot. Twenty four seventy
2487. Twenty four thirty seven. Twenty four fifty eight. All right, all brass, looks good. No signs at all on pressure, uh, everything looks good. Primer looks good, everything. All right, um, let's see how good our stats are here. So our average is 2450. Our SD is 31.5 and our ES is 90.7. Oh, damn. That sucks. So our original ES and SD on this uh, during the powder test was I think 10 SD and oh actually I, it's probably right here uh, 10 SD and 26 ES uh, 26.5 ES at 2451. So I'm only one one uh, FPS slower because that was an average of 2450 so FPS is looking about even but yeah ES is god awful at 90 man that's that's really bad um, all right let's let's move on here oh I forgot to put the windscreen on hopefully it wasn't all uh, uh, windy for you guys it's mild winds today, so we're looking at like 51 degrees. Here, let me see. All right, so 57 degrees uh, feels like 55. Humidity, 44%, and an eight mile an hour wind. That's definitely not a constant eight because like it slows down to probably almost one or two, um, like just a minute ago. And then I'm sure you guys will hear when it kicks up a little bit. All right, let's move on. All right, moving on to 15,000 off the land. Off the lands. Not off the land. Um, if anybody's new to this load, it's 39.2 grains of Varget uh, with a CC, uh, CCI BR2's large rifle primers. And Alpha three times fired brass. And that's it. <laughs> All right, next dot over. All right, that. <laughs> Come on. I swear to God, I had that armed. So. Either it fucked up or I'm stupid and so it's only going to be a four shot there. All right, four shot group here, or no, it's going to be five shot group, but four shots on the chronograph. Twenty-four seventy-two. 
I'd like to see how my ESs and SDs are once we uh, start shooting um, from the RCBS uh, Charge Master. See how consistent that thing is on, you know, dropping, dropping loads. Well, that group already opened up over an inch. Looks like from here. So so far, 20 and 25 thousands off the lands. Looks fucking good. Stringing them right in there. <laughs> Twenty-four sixty-one. Right now, I'm sitting at a five SD and a ten ES. But it's going to be an awful group. Watch. <laughs> I can already tell. That paper has a a punched with a hole puncher, a punched hole in there. <laughs> I thought that was the one. Up at the very tippy top, you guys can see it. 2443. So it looks like the first shot was the high one. The rest looks like they all sat right there in the top right of the paper. All right, so that one was 2442. We have an average of 2454. So staying right in expected range. Uh, an SD of 12.7 and an ES of 29.9. So no, nope, still not very good. Moving to 10 thousandths off the lands. All right, chronograph is set. You guys witnessed it. Moving on, 10 thousandths off the lands. Barrel is still cool. Third dot over on the top. All right, 24 16. that hit the paper and it went through the other hole and not over the whole pallet. Uh, 2398, that one seems a little low. there with the other one. Uh, 24.52. All of those Felt really good. So far, 2406. Nice little clover leaf right now. Well, that's a fucking damn good group. All right, um, that bullet was 2440. Um, our average is 2422. Okay, so this is the first group that uh, bucks the trend on average because during the powder test we were 2451. Our first group today was 2450, and our second group today was 2454. 
so we've all been within that 2450 range. Uh, so this is the first one that's been weird at 24.22. Um, our SD is 20.8 and our ES is 54.1. So all bad. All bad. Alright guys, let's reset the chronograph and move on. Do I love shooting at fall? Don't have to take that half hour break in the middle. Barrel still cool. I mean, barely can feel warmth in it. Alright, moving to 5 thousandths off the lands. Last dot on the top. Twenty-four forty-five. This alpha brass is looking great. Only on the fourth firing, so it better. Twenty-four forty-five. If I didn't say it. Just right above that last bullet hole. Everything looks good. 2446 2449 452. All right, so there we go. Average of 2449, an SD of 3.4. Yeah, that's a good stat. Not the best group down there, though. That's how it always works for me. An ES of 8.6. Alright, um, let's move on to touching the lands. This one, the last group. Touching the lands. Chronograph is set. It's gonna be first dot in on the middle row. All the way to your left. shot felt like I broke it just a hair high on the dot. 2410 2436. That's a low uh, velocity, it seemed like. Ah, 
doesn't like uh, touching the land, I'll tell you. Twenty three ninety six. Wow, that one's way off too. We've been averaging twenty four fifty. So yeah, that's almost that. That's over fifty F, uh, FPS. Seventy nine. Last shot. Yeah, all those felt good except for the very first one, which didn't feel bad, but just felt felt like I broke it just a little high. 24.33, so we have an average of 24.11, an SD of 21.8, and an ES of 57 even. Best stats ended up being 5 off the lands with a 3 SD and an 8 ES. Best group, we'll look at it up at the bench anyways, but it's either 25 off the lands or, or 10. Those two are nice little... Uh, clover leaves well i mean that's what it looks like from back here but all right guys uh we will i'm gonna get everything packed up here and uh we'll check everything out you know up on the bench all right guys we're back up here at the bench let's take a look at the brass well i'll show you the brass but it's all same uh charge weight and you know it's we weren't even seeing problems at the seating depth test so there's really no sense in looking at it um, so yeah uh, we were at 39.2 we didn't see signs of pressure when we shot it during the powder test and I'm not seeing any now so we're only at 2400 2460 something feet per second so I wouldn't worry about it all right so I'm not gonna worry about brass Let's look at the groups. All right, so first group is uh, 25 off the lands, zero up my calipers, and this ended up being a pretty good group. Uh, I'm I'm pretty impressed with it. So our two furthest bullets are these two, which we're looking at a .482, is what I'm seeing. Um, we get uh, alright, so yeah, 0.482, and we are seeing what were we at here? So 25 off the lands, we were 2450 was our average. 0.482, I'm gonna write that down so I don't gotta do us all over again. Second group was 15 off the lands, so yeah, I mean, first group. Under half inch, that I'm, I'm happy as hell with that. So, this one kind of isn't quite as good. 15 off the lands, we're looking at definitely over an inch, I think. Not quite, almost, basically an inch. 0 0.978. 0 0.978. And uh, next group was 10 off the lands. And that is a tight little group. I will freaking take that all day. Let's see what it's at. 0.378. So not quite as good as our original 20,000s off the lands, but uh, that was 0.336. So I still take that all day long, 0.378. Our next group was five off the lands. And this was kind of just sporadic. I don't know if this was one that I... I had a couple that I felt off on. Uh, uh, two shots that I was kind of iffy on. But none of them broke really wild. I think one was off to the left a little bit. And one I think I broke just a hair high. But I don't know. Measure this. It's going to be these two are the furthest ones away. 
So basically an inch as well, just under, but so 0 0.932. Uh, and then touching the lands, it didn't like that either. Furthest ones away are these. And that's like a 0 0.730 is what it's looking like to me. So yeah, that's what we got for groups for the seating depth test. Yeah, I think around 20, uh, 20 thousandths off the lands is looking pretty good. I may, uh, I may do one from 25 to 50 or something like that, and just just to see if upper, you know, a little bit higher or a little bit further away from the lands, um, you know, gets any better, but. We'll see. We'll see what we got for bullets left. Actually, I still got decent sized baggy full, so. Either way, uh, 10 thousands off the lands, 20 thousands off the lands, 25 off the lands. That's probably why I'll go with 20, because 20 and 25, that seems like it stays pretty consistent between those two. I may do one as well in between 25 and 20 to see if, uh, you know, see if it stays, you know, stays tight in there at all, but I don't know. We'll see. I'll ponder it here uh, when I'm editing and see what's going on and, and uh, we'll figure something else out. But either way, I'm probably going to do, I'll definitely do probably three five shot groups of uh, 20 off the lands because that's our best group so far. So I'll do 39.2 grains of Varget, 20 off the lands. I'll load like 15 bullets of that. And then I'll probably do another uh, 15 bullets of um, 10 off the lands. Same thing, 39.2 grains of bargain, 10 off the lands. Because that, that is a nice little bug hole uh, group there. Or clover leaf, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Not quite bug hole, I guess. But, yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you want to hit like. That would help me out a lot. And uh, if you guys want to see more of this, subscribe. That that helps me out a lot as well. But yeah, I'll figure out where to go from here. And uh, you'll be seeing more of the 308. We'll be changing bullets. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to go do after this. Maybe the 174 grain VTs. But uh, we'll figure it out. I have some 208s to get to as well. But either way, I'm not done with this yet. I'm not saying I'm moving right now. But uh uh, we'll do we'll do a couple more seating depth tests and final loads uh, coming up. That'll be next. All right, guys, I appreciate it, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.